Okay, welcome back. This is part four of my How to Build a Community Site tutorial series. And in the last video, we started styling our navigation, our navigation links and whatnot. Um, so we're going to continue on with that. So we just put a background color to help us see how this is going to look. Now, our background color, what it shows us is there is a, uh, a slight overhang on the top here uh, for this, uh, for our links. And there's an underhang on the bottom. So what we want to do is let's go back to our nav style. Let's change our padding. Oh, sorry, padding on the top to uh, whoops, not four. That needs to be five. Whoops. Uh, here we go. So that needs to be five. So if I save and refresh, you can see it's way, way more flush with everything. And I'm actually going to change it to six. Um, make it, take it down a little bit more. Uh, yeah, that's perfect. Uh, so, now what we want to do is we want to extend it on the bottom. So, we want to, the padding on the bottom, let's, uh, uh mm, I'm going to say 20, or, oh, not 50, 20, there we go. And so, that's going to do is it, it kicked it up a little bit more, um, but it's a little bit too much, and uh, so it's not quite what I wanted. Um, needs a little bit more. Actually, I'm trying to get close to my screen here. That's actually perfect. Um, and the reason it, it looks like that is because at the bottom of this image there is a drop shadow. Uh, so yeah, so that is now perfect on the links. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of our background color and change our background image back and we're going to save and refresh so we now have this nice little rollover effect um, <clears throat> now what we're going to do is we're going to make it so our background image repeats only on the x-axis so we want to say background dash repeat whoops repeat and this is a uh, repeat Repeat. Ah, I'm getting angry. <laughs> repeat dash x. So we're just going to repeat it on the x axis. Uh, now, because we made it so perfect, it's not going to really show anything. But uh, yeah, um, <coughs> I'm also going to set a background color. Um, now this is just uh, just in case our image isn't working for whatever reason. Uh, whoops. There we go. Uh, and that's just in case our image isn't working for whatever reason. So it's going to be pound and two, two, two. So it's kind of a grayish color, I think. I think it was grayish. I don't know. But we're not going to see it because of our awesome rollover effect. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for our navigation. Uh, except that pretty much styles it, and uh, it makes it very nice because because. Uh, <coughs> The only reason we have, the only way we need to change this is we just change our link values so we don't have to actually change our style. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste the code and we're going to uh, make it so it's the same for our footer because that's the same image. So <coughs> I'm going to copy all of the wrapper nav and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to replace it. I'm going to replace the footer with it and then I'm going to change this to footer, this to footer, and this to footer. So it's going to be the same thing. <coughs> so you can see that it, our, it's actually showing the drop shadow now. So let's go ahead and throw in some links. I'm just going to, oops, uh, there we go. I'm just going to copy this and just paste it in here. Paste a couple. So if we save and refresh, we now have our nice little links. Nice little rollover effect and everything. So it looks it looks very professional, I think. Um, <coughs> so it's nice. Um, <coughs> so let's come back to our nav, and real quick, uh, I'm going to throw a margin, margin, margin. There we go. Uh, on the bottom of about actually no, I don't need to do that because there's enough space. Never mind. Uh, what I was going to do is I was going to throw a little bit more space down here, but that is plenty, plenty enough of space. 
so, um, yeah, so we don't need to, uh, put any extra space in between here, uh, because that's, that's pretty much good. Uh, now, on this side of our navigation bar, we're going to have our search box and uh, search button, I guess you could call it, uh, to search the site. So, uh, we will, I guess we'll style that now. Um, let's go back to our CSS. And, uh, and uh, well, actually, I don't think I'm going to do that right now. Uh, what we are going to do is... Uh, Figure out what we're gonna do next. Ha 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 ha. Um. Uh. Oh, I got something. How about this? Uh. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create some more uh things for our content. Wrapper pound content pound full. So, uh, you might be thinking, well, what's the full gonna be? Uh, what I'm going to do is our full is going to be from here all the way from this side to all the way to this side. But we're also going to make a left and right column so we can have uh, like left and right uh, little column bars uh, because we, we'll probably use that for something. Uh, so we'll create a left as eh, kind of pretty small, maybe 250, 300 pixels. And then the right side will be the rest of that 850 box. Um, <clears throat> but what we're going to do is we're going to copy, and we're going to cut out this code for our content, and we're going to paste it into our full. Um, so, inside of our content here, uh, I'm going to say div id equals full, and end the full. Whoops, end the div. Um, and then I'm going to come down here and say div id equals left and then end the div and I'm just going to copy and paste it and call it right and I'm just going to say left side and right side <coughs> so if I refresh we now have this text all the way down here and that is actually because eh, we uh, need to put this minimum height on our content and I'm actually going to drop it down to 300 pixels. So, yeah. Uh, so we can see that now this is kicked over here. Um, so the very first thing we want to do is we want to <coughs> uh, create our styles. So actually, I'm just going to copy and paste this. So I'm going to change this to left, paste it, and change it to right. So, I'm going to get rid of the margins, and eventually we'll change the width. But, what we want to do is we want to set a float value for each of these. So, our left is going to float to our left, and the uh, we're going to set a float for our right, and it's going to float to the right. It's real original. Um, so, our left is going to be about, I'm going to say 250 pixels for now. And since this needs to equal up to uh, 850, if we have 850 minus 250, that'll take us to 500. And so we want about a 10, maybe 15 pixel inside of it, or uh, in between the two, sort of a little like buffer type area. So I'm going to set this to about 470 or 480, eh, 485. So if we refresh you can now see we have our text here and our text here but what we want to do is we're gonna set a uh, background color for both of them so background dash color and I'm gonna say pound FFF so it's gonna set a background color of white and then I'm gonna set this to uh, CCC so it's definitely two very different colors. So you can see, we now have this over here and this over here. Um, so, <coughs> all is well. Um, so I'm going to stop this video here. In the next video, we will finish up the left and right styles for this. And that will be the end of the design of the site for now. Uh, and later on, we will uh, continue with something else. Alright, check out the next part of the series.